What's going on guys? Welcome back to Super Mario Odyssey. Last time, my friends, we made our way here to the Luncheon Kingdom and we obtained a lot of the Power Moons. We also collected all of the purple tomatoes, aka the purple coins in this kingdom. Today, we're going to be completing this kingdom and not only that, but we're also going to be completing the next kingdom after this one. In this episode, I never thought it would happen, but we're actually doing it guys. Two kingdoms in one episode. It's going to be an exciting one, I'll tell you that. So anyways, before we begin, Drop a like on this video. I mean, how can you not leave a like for this beautiful man? Look at him, dude. Look at Mario. Look how cool he looks in this painting costume. It looks so dope. It makes me want to just go out and paint some walls. Maybe I'll do that. I mean, I don't have any walls per se to paint, but I guess I could find some if I really tried. So, also, don't forget to answer the comment question of the day. Last time I asked you guys, what is your favorite time, I guess, group of uh, food or food period to eat it's a complicated question do you like breakfast lunch or dinner more which one of those three did you like more here are some of the responses we got today's comic question of the day is what are you looking forward to most for this upcoming winter break i know some people have already started going on break and some people have yet to go on break so what are you looking forward to most i know a lot of you guys are probably going to say something along the lines about you know games and playing this or that and experiencing this game because you know holiday seasons are also around the corner and people are going to get a lot of new fun exciting games for the holidays so i mean i'm excited for you guys on behalf of everyone who still has yet to play super mario odyssey i'm excited for you i cannot wait for you to experience this game or even breath of the wild if you haven't played that game i feel like breath of the wild has been out for quite some time so if you haven't played breath of the wild then at this point you're truly living under a rock because you could have also played it you know on the uh on the switch uh all right i guess on the not the switch obviously the switch but the nintendo wii u the forbidden console the console that nobody ever wants to play anymore you know i only play it when i record videos i don't actually ever you know take that thing out and decide you know i want to have a good time today playing my nintendo wii u you know i know some people still have wii u's and some people only have wii u's and will have wii u's for quite some time so i do apologize if you're one of those people one day when you get the switch you'll realize exactly what i'm talking about and why i'm dissing so hard on the wii u the switch is truly a masterpiece man it is just a magnificent piece of technology that nintendo finally put together for us man you know this is this i don't think nintendo will have a better year than 2017 like it seems very unlikely for me that they'll come up with something better than unless they made like a switch 2.0 where like you know it had uh, like cellular service where you could connect to like 4g and whatnot giving you access to internet at all times and then also allowing you to be able to play like you know online without the need of wireless connection that would be pretty dope you know maybe even a bigger battery maybe a 1080p screen on the handheld that would be pretty dope if they made one of those i would definitely buy it you know i'd, I'd, I'd definitely be a first one of the first people to buy that thing for sure so uh there's there's a lot going on i don't know if you guys could tell but there is a lot going on in this kingdom there's actually not many of the power moons that we have yet to find but there's just a ton of things that i just don't really even know uh where to begin you know looking for things like for example this thing you know i guess i'll look for all the moon rock power moons just in the on the map they're pretty easy to find so oh it's this one this one's pretty dope so all you need to do is find you one of these guys now if he hits you with the fireball uh, yeah, it's probably not a good idea to let him do that because you see they'll take so much damage from me And that's not what I want to happen. All right, there you go We make it across and I guess I'll kill him. Sorry, brother. You know, you deserve to die after that one I mean, there's no oh, he's coming back. He's coming back the sensual beans work quick in this game All right, I'm gonna just jump over here. I'm gonna jump on this. I guess go ahead and light that one up Oh Come on. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die because of this thing, dude because of these guys who would have guessed that these things would have eventually end up being the demise of me you know i mean it happened before but that's just because fireballs are tedious to get around i think we actually almost made it though to the end all we need to do is just avoid yep anything else which actually there's nothing else which is pretty nice so hopefully i don't fall you know all i gotta do now is just light that one up somehow uh it's not that bad i mean i guess maybe when you're using the fire bro and he's jumping like he's not perfectly centered if that makes sense uh the way he shoots his fireballs are always at like a very slight angle so you're not shooting directly into the center of what you're aiming for you're kind of shooting left 
uh, a little bit or write a little bit of it. So it's not too bad. You just got to work a couple times in uh, getting it. But that's called stepping over the gears and then lighting the torches along the way. That's not what it's called, the second part. But that's exactly what happened. We lit the torches along the way. Uh, now I'm going to make my way to the top of the peak. Because there's a couple power moons here as well that we also need to get. And we might as well just knock them out right now. I'm just going off of the ones from the top of my head. And then once I can't think of anything else, I'll just resort to using the guide. I know I kind of don't like using the guide either. But in situations like this, when it comes to 100%ing, I mean, there's no better thing than the guide. The guide is your best friend. All right, go ahead. Here's a power moon chilling right here next to the cannon by the cannons pointed, uh, by the cannon pointed at the big pot. Not too shabby. Also, speaking of power moons, let's go ahead and get another one right here. So, this one, uh, I would have been one I never would. I mean, I kind of figured it out, but I would have never guessed you had to use piranha plants to do this. So, essentially, what you need to do here is you need to, you know, focus this guy. Oh, gosh. Did it hit it? I don't think it hit it. I don't think it hit it because the camera has to suck. All right, I'm going to just let him come at me. There you go. And fly on this thing and just chill. Come on, dude. Spit some fire at me. Spit some fire. Sp there you go. Hopefully it comes at me. Come my way. Hey, brody boy. Why doesn't he want to spit fire at me, dude? This sucks. All right. Let me uh, let me bait him some more. There you go. Hello. See me? Come say hello. There you go. Come on. Please hit it. Yeah, there you go. Finally. All right. So that was, uh, as you saw, pretty tedious to do. So you got to do this twice, pretty much. Um, I got to find the, the torch right there. And if he... Yep, he forgot to pay attention to me. You got to, like, bait him, dude. Okay, there you go. Oh, uh, man, the camera is so bad here, dude. Like, no joke. There you go. Finally, dude. We are done with this. As you saw, like, you know, it's just... It's complicated, man. You're not really seeing what you're doing. You're just kind of hoping that it just works. Something happens along the way. So, uh, there's also another power moon located inside of this room right here. Now, you could have done this in two different ways. I think this is probably the best way to do it, if you ask me. Actually, no, no, no. This is not a way that you could do it. There, there is only one way to do this. And it's not like this, I'll tell you that. Because, see, if, apparently if you... Actually, maybe I could... Never mind, I could do it like this. What am I saying? I didn't even see that there was this path over here. But literally, all you need to do is just go across this path and then uh, jump on top. Okay. Well, I already got that one? Are you serious? Never mind. Why does it say there's one there, though? I guess maybe it's not literally in this room. Maybe it's somewhere else, but I guess we got that one, so... I, I was I thought this was definitely one that I didn't grab so I guess I'm just gonna leave this place I'll end up going back over here actually let's take a look real quick what else is there oh yeah there's one over here that I haven't done let's go grab that one real quick oh and there's one in the main area so I mean they're slowly coming back to me okay so this one again something I would have never guessed until I looked it up in the guide apparently these cracks you're supposed to ground pound them all. You know, I've done this before where I've went through and I've ground pounded all the cracks, you know, for the sake of seeing if there was anything, you know, uh, worth taking from these cracks. It's just, I don't think I ground pounded all of them in this area because had I done so, I would have been, uh, you know, one power moon richer. So it's, it's, it's not bad, I guess. There it is. You know, it's a job that only Mario could do. This thing could not do it. He would get stuck along the way with every jump he took. He would just get stuck. I know, kind of crazy. Uh, okay, so that's another one that we could get pretty easy. Um, how do I get back? I want to see where I want to go. I want to be in this area. So I guess I'll warp over to this one. Okay, there's a couple of power moons here that I, re I remember not getting. I think one I showed off in the LP. I just, you know, had a very hard time actually being able to get it. So I'm hoping that I either A, didn't get it at all or... You know, like I'm thinking I only did like half of it or something. And I think I only did like about half of it. So, uh, where I want to go is I want to go this way. As you can see, there's a room chilling over there. Now, if I jump out of this fireball and I enter inside of it with Mario, you'll see we are greeted. Wait, what? Huh? Okay, never mind. This is not the place that I was thinking of. But hey, there's definitely a power moon here. This is, uh, 
This was this is one that I skipped earlier on, but that's because I wasn't really familiar with the idea of like how this game still worked. You know, like think about it. By the time I played this game, I've only experienced it like you know for like a few days, like this in particular kingdom, and uh, even then, what's it called? Oh gosh. Okay, actually, you know what? Let me see if I can. Oh gosh. Oh. Wow, I somehow managed to make it. That's ex that's literally not what I tried even doing at all. I tried backflipping on the, 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 the fence just so then I could uh, get access to, uh, you know, being on the ledge and then long jumping or cappy bouncing and then doing a dive to the platform. But whatever I did just was really sloppy. So I don't even know what that was. Uh, did I light that fireball up? I think I did. Or did that uh, torch up? Anyways, uh, before I forget, there's a couple of things real quick. Uh, let me actually do this first before I do anything else. Okay, so, anyways, what you want to do here is you want to come up this way on top of the mountain. Now, this is probably, like, the only part that you could skill. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. But go ahead and talk to this guy, and uh, or just read the, the art, and it'll show you exactly uh, where that power moon is. I don't know if you guys could tell, but it was in the Seaside Kingdom, so we'll definitely be making our way back to the Seaside Kingdom at the end of this episode, or I guess at the end of this kingdom. But uh, anyways, remember in the last episode at the beginning, I told you guys if you wanted to get that power- Oh, look at this! By the way, this guy here! I forgot, this guy needs a power moon taken out of him. Alright, can I just like- Oh, there you go. Ah, nice, dude, we got it! This guy, I totally forgot I didn't even grab the power moon from him. For some reason, I thought I did. I had thought I gotten him on this file, but I guess I didn't. But there's a big block of cheese over there, and the fire bros meet the pan bros. Which they can whip us up something delicious. And there's even chef bros too, I think. Actually, no, I don't think so. Some of them wear a chef costume. Uh, like a hat, at least. So I guess I'll get rid of you now, and... You know what? I'm gonna kill you. I'm not even gonna let you live. There you go. Just die already. Let someone else spawn beside of you. Okay, so that was treasure beneath the cheese rocks. Pretty easy one to get. It's just you have to travel a distance to get to it. Um, and there's going to be one point in this video where you'll actually get a whole view of the Luncheon Kingdom. You'll realize it's not that big. Unless you take into consideration, like, all this background that you can't see, like, those mountains and stuff over there. But that is not even accessible in the game. So you can't really say it's, like, a part of the Luncheon Kingdom. It's just to give the illusion that there's way more to this kingdom than this just floating island um but i'll show it off once we get to it it's still pretty cool nonetheless like i'm not saying that to this on you know how this place looks it's just kingdom is not really that big okay so those of you guys who don't remember this is the place that i was talking about now i spent forever in here searching for all of the uh the moon shards so there's one obviously located in the open that we just picked up now that was the easiest moon shard that you'll find in this place uh and the rest are the, the other four are actually buried inside of these blocks of cheese now there is one specifically that took forever for me to find and i just could never find it and uh you know i just ended up breaking every single piece of cheese block and lo and behold i eventually ended up finding it so it's not hard it's not impossible. Actually, I already got all four of them. I didn't even see that. Okay, so the final one is literally located right here in this little corner. Uh, go ahead and break those cheese blocks. There you go. Oh, I didn't even want to break that. There you go. See, look at that, dude. It just hidden inside of there. Who would have ever guessed that? I mean, you would probably assume it's, like, located higher up where the cheese is, you know? Um, like, right here, for example. But it's... Apparently under even the lava itself, so that was pretty crazy now We got ourselves another power moon and that was actually the only one in that area that we had to get uh, What else is there for us to do? So we actually don't have really that many two of which are out of this kingdom So that lives at 63. So there's five more remaining. I think this here is a double decker one Let's go ahead and check it out. There's actually like I said There's one that I can remember right now in the main area um, Like the the, the 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 central part I guess Oh, look at that! There, there literally is one over there. Okay, so let's go ahead and get it real quick. Woohoo! It's one of these things. Look at these cute little birds, man. They're just so chubby. They're like little peeps, but, you know, white and giant. They're bigger, you know, and they're not made of marshmallow. Okay, so this one is, uh, I wouldn't say it's hard, but it's obviously 
more difficult than anything we've done so far in this kingdom not a bad thing you know i don't want you guys to think when i'm saying something's hard that it's bad it's, it's a good thing it's not like hard like oh i'm not gonna get through it it's just a little added spice compared to what you're normally used to when you play a nintendo game uh so oh yeah let me, let me go ahead and help myself let me treat myself to one of these things so this is actually this is, i don't know why but every time i play things like this it reminds me of uh Super Mario Galaxy games. It's because they had like a lot of uh, their 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 moons or whatever, or not the moons, but their stars, very similar to this uh, right here. So this is the only part that I would recommend being like fast at because if you're not, you're not gonna be able to get that and then also make your way back to the platform without dying. But luckily for me, I made it. There you go. Oh no! All right, just stay put. There, there you go. Stay put. All right, let me just... Oh, gosh, that was crazy close. So this is what I'm talking about, how it's it's not like it's difficult where you can't do it. It's just you have to literally focus a little more, add a little more of that brain juice power into your, uh, you know, your thought process, your commands, and, and, and you'll, you'll come up on top, I guess. So that's an easy two power moons. Now, if that, if, if we had like, what, how many did we have? We have 53, so that means there's five more. Four more, three more, two more. Okay, so I guess after this one, there is literally one more power moon that I have yet to get. And then I'm done with this kingdom. I'm just trying to think of which one it was. Because it's not coming to me, like, at, from the top of my head. Oh, I think I know which one it is. Okay, I don't need anybody to tell me. I don't even need to look it up. Uh, but let's go ahead and talk to this guy. So there's this guy from the Cap Kingdom. There's always one of these guys here. They want to be Cappy and Mario. Travel the world together. So uh, his friend is literally not located in this area. He's located just behind the alleyway over here. You know, it's uh, it's probably one of the best places to hide. You know, just to make sure nobody sees you or anything like that. Go ahead, talk to him. Bang Shalang. Get yourself another Power Moon. All right. Uh, let's see. What else do I have to do? I get I guess I got all of the, those ones and then these two are the ones outside of this kingdom and then number 20. Ooh, this is going to be a good one. I I'm pretty sure I know where this one is. It's located <clears throat> I want to say somewhere in this vicinity right here. Okay, guys, here's where the final power moon is. It's literally this timer challenge with the scarecrow. It's one of the easiest power moons that you could possibly get in the history of existence. Literally, just jump across, get the key, and bang, shalang, you got yourself a freaking power moon. So, that was probably one of the easiest ones we've done so far in the episode. I was thinking of a totally different one, which apparently I got like earlier on maybe like the first time i played this or maybe in the last episode i don't recall getting it in this episode which is why i was like you know thinking of it but it doesn't even matter what it is because look at that guys well actually no we're missing one more as well never mind okay so number 13 what is number 13 okay so apparently the one that i was thinking of was in fact the one that i was thinking of but i didn't realize it was until i looked up the name for it so I don't recall exactly how I did it the first time, to be honest with you guys, but I think the way I'm about to show it off now uh, could very well be, you know, uh, a, way, a way, a possible way to be able to get this power moon. So, essentially, all you need to do is literally overlook the, uh, the mountain here, and you'll see somewhere along the lines... Like, I think over on that area, you'll see a glowing mark, but you can't actually see it from up here. So I guess we'll just go ahead and jump off and take our chances with this. All right, there you go. Oh, oh, please land right there. There you go. Oh my goodness. It actually worked. So literally, this is it right here, overlooking some vegetables, whatever it's called. And this is it, guys, the final power moon of the luncheon kingdom overlooking a bunch of ingredients that's exactly what it's called that's that's it right there for you guys so with that we can finally leave this place and at least go out uh, collect the last two power moons so i will meet you guys and the next two kingdoms which have power moons for the luncheon kingdom
Okay, once you're here in the Seaside Kingdom, you're gonna warp to Ocean Trench West Flagpole, and the Star Moon should actually be located, or the Power Moon should be located very close to where you uh, where you spawn. So as you can see, this flagpole particularly spawns you underwater. It's totally fine. You have enough air to be able to make it in and out real quick. It's literally located on that pedestal right there, above the one with the rock on it. That's verbatim in the picture. If you look at it, you'll see it. It's literally like from this angle right here and he's just kind of like you know burying it in that spot so that's how you get the power moon found within luncheon kingdom art now moving on to the next and final power moon of the luncheon kingdom i will meet you guys there and i'll talk to you guys about this specific power moon um and how it's activated depending on how you choose to play the game uh once we get to it Okay, here we are guys in the Wooded Kingdom. So, uh, the way this Power Moon works is depending on which kingdom you choose to play first, whether it's the Lake Kingdom or the Wooded Kingdom, uh, it actually has, um, it has an effect on where this specific Power Moon or this, uh, this painting will be. So, since we chose to play Lake Kingdom first, the Power Moon actually ends up in Wooded Kingdom, or I guess the picture taking us to, uh, the Luncheon Kingdom it would be in this one, in this kingdom right here. So that's why I'm, I'm here in the Wooded Kingdom, obviously. So pretty much where you want to go is you want to just fly that way. Uh, and you'll actually see that cage in there. It takes you... Oh, gosh, there you go. It takes you from a different kingdom to this kingdom. And I, I don't remember which one it was. I think it was the Metro. But right here is the picture, which takes you to the Luncheon Kingdom. Go ahead and fly in it. And oops, I was hoping I could skip it right now. That would have been dope. But nope, Nintendo have to make me see this again every time. And here we are in the Luncheon Kingdom. So this is it. This is the view, the best possible view that you will get while playing this kingdom. Now, as you can see from this view, it does not look big by any means. I mean, unless you're taking all that into consideration, then this kingdom is massive. But at least the playable area is not that big. It's just this little island. However, from this distance, it does look very small. But when you're actually playing it yourself, uh, it's a massive, massive size kingdom. I mean, come on, you can't even see any of the NPCs because of how big this place is like they're literally probably so tiny that you can't see them but when you look at it realistically it's really not that big compared to how big this game actually is if that makes sense but without further ado guys we're gonna go ahead and make our way to the ruined kingdom so I'll just meet you guys there Alright guys, here we are at the Ruin Kingdom. Now, just to quickly show off... Wait, wait, what? Oh, that's right. We didn't activate the Moon Rock in here because guess what? I don't think the prince... I mean, I think the prince has visited this place. Or maybe it wasn't Captain Toad who visited, but... So, starting out, you have five. After the Moon Rock, you have ten. So, it literally just doubles them up. Uh, and again, all of these are very, very easy to get. Uh, let me just actually go activate this moon rock real quickly just to, you know, get it done and over with. I think this is the last and final one that we have yet to activate, but it shows off a couple of places. There's three X's and then there's uh, one that has two, meaning that there's two power moons in that one. So it's like a, a power moon mini game. But I'm going to just go ahead and show it off real quick. Show off exactly where everything is. Dude, how out of place does it feel like for Mario like to be here right now? It just it seems so out of place. Like this is not Mario's vibe mario does not like usually you know sit in settings like this but you know i guess today he's in one of these weird uh ominous spooky settings oh my goodness bro like i'm just scared to jump on the ledge over here like i don't know why like i know it's not gonna kill me if i fall but i'm just scared man there you go so this is literally all i'm trying to do right here just get that one now we got 7-eleven i don't know why that's fascinating but I guess you could say I own a 7-Eleven right now. You know, Mario can call his Odyssey 7-Eleven and uh, just sell, you know, his, the stuff he buys from, like, the kingdoms there. That, that, that would totally work, I guess. Okay, so I think there's a Power Moon located also in one of these things. Unless it's one of these Moon Rocks. There you go. It's a Moon Rock. Uh, or I guess not a Moon Rock, but, dude, look at how many kicks this takes. That's four. Five. <clears throat> 
49 49 freaking kicks bro just for the thing to open up are you serious about this right now like if that is not the most tedious power moon to get just because of the fact that we're kicking it 50 times to activate it then i don't know what is like I, that, that was pretty bad but anyways uh we still got a power moon so i'm grateful for that and there's another one located on his horn over here so um that's an also, another also easy one. There's really nothing to do with Peach. I don't know why Peach would be dressed like that. Like, that is not fit for the occasion, as you can see. Like, you are you are in a ruined kingdom. You should be dressed, uh, you know, in a very, like, explore... Not explore-ish way, but I guess a very hunting manner. You don't know what you're going to find out here. Whether crows will try to kill you, or this dragon will, you know, go wild and try to kill you as well. Who knows? But this is really like the only main uh, like challenging part of this. So pretty much all you need to do is just stop the blocks um, and, and the perfect spot in order to be able to get across. And I gotta say, dude, the view in this place is pretty dope. It reminds me a lot of like, you know, ruined down Hyrule Castle from like Brawl or, you know, other Zelda games. So this one specifically, you gotta just, okay, that's fine. You can hit it like that. Now this one, I guess I gotta hit it in the middle. There you go. Okay, let me let let me let me reset it. So when you fail, you can just reset it like that. It literally just resets the the motion of things. So not too bad. All right, I gotta hit this at. There you go. Pretty nice. And when you get it correct, as you can see, coins will be activated. It'll just give you like a little indication that hey, you're not stupid. You did it the proper way. You can also go backwards and see if you know you can check out anything in the, in that area, but. I don't think there's anything to look for. There are going to be two power moons here. They're very easy to find. Like the first one, actually, we're going to need a Koopa. I'm going to need one of you guys. I'm going to sacrifice you for the greater good. All right, let's wait for him. And there you go. And chase after him. And you'll see him going through a lot of different kinds of destruction. All right, there you go. Look at that, dude. And he's even giving me coins. Okay, so now I have to... Uh, I guess I have to set these down at the bottom. So wait, there, there you go. That's good. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I didn't know by I didn't know you could just walk into it. I thought you had to use Cappy to do it. There you go. Well, that didn't work either. That's not gonna work. So don't even try. I've tried this before. You have to have it at the bottom in order for Mario to be able to reach it. All right, let me just wait. All right, there you go. There you go. One and. Two. Pretty nice. And this is the second one. So once you get this, there's only one more after here. Uh, there you go. Pretty nice. Roulette tower stopped. That's what it's called. Oh, gosh. I was going to say, am I dead? Can I not jump across that? But luckily for me, I was able to do so. And this is it. We are done. The final power moon located on this spot. So I'm going to assume I have to hit these. One. Two. Oh. Oh. That sucks. Whatever. Fine. It's all good. I'm going to get it done right this time. There you go. See, it's not really that bad. I mean, I don't know if I'll be able to reach the red one, per se, from where I'm standing. And it looks like I can. I can do it. I got this. Woohoo! Very nice. And I think that's it. We made it. Yep. That's where the final power moon is. Making it the fifth one. And we had two, so that means we have seven. So there's only three more that remain. And to be honest, I actually do not really recall which ones they were. Unless there's like another one of these chimney spots that I can, you know, explore and, and play in. But I don't really know. Uh, let's see. So actually, we do have one, two, three. And it looks like two of them are right there. And then this one is around here somewhere. Okay, guys, so here are the last couple power moons. So the first one is actually located behind this little area. As you can see, if you go behind the nook, not only are you greeted by a ton of coins stacked up on one another, there's also a chest just chilling right there, which consists of the, uh, the next power moon. Now, the final two, if you guys couldn't already see it, but uh, 
there is in fact a chimney located right next to the odyssey and this is actually one of the more so exciting ones to do at least when i played i had a good time doing it so i mean let's go ahead and try it again and see exactly how it fares this time around uh so anyways all you need to do is you need to go ahead and possess this charging chuck um and just literally ram into everything you see here so first of all there is literally uh, a power moon on that Go ahead and use Charging Chuck to break it. And then there's going to be a uh, a mummy that you're going to need to kill or something. And then he'll give you the final power moon in this kingdom. And I think that's it. I think at that, at that point we'll be done. But I just got to find where this mummy is. Wherever he may be. He, he's the one that looks different. Uh, you'll see him and know him exactly once he shows up. That's if he shows up. I actually don't know if he will. But you know what? Let me go ahead and grab these coins. Look at that. Oh, there he is. He's right there. There he is. I found him. That's him. He's the one with the power moon. And I just, all I got to do now is kill him. So I'm going to go kill him. I didn't know that's how you spawn activated him. Maybe that's how you're supposed to do it. Break open all those blocks or something. Unless he moves around. And in which case, it's going to be tough to pin him down. Oh, there he is. There he is. Being protected by everyone else. I see you, big boy. I see you. All right, how do I literally kill him? What? What? Oh my gosh, he literally disappeared, man. How am I supposed to get him? Oh, there you go. You literally just stomp on him. I thought maybe you had to like un, un uh, like uh unwind him like all the the stuff surround like all the uh the the mummy wrap surrounding him or I guess I don't even know what I'm trying to say. But that's what I thought you had to do. Nonetheless, we got the power moon pretty easy one so i think that's it as you can see we collected all 10 power moons here we also completed all of luncheon kingdom 100 percent meaning next time we are going to be starting on bowser's kingdom and by starting i mean just you know completing as much as we can of it and then we got the moon kingdom which looks like we could do easily in one episode and then obviously the dark side and then the, the mushroom kingdom so It'll be nice. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to drop a like. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.